or to framework? I thank the Noble Lord the Minister for his answer and everyone who's contributed to what I think has been a very rich and full um, and very informed um, debate. Uh, I think I'm going to deal with the structural questions first, um, as just raised by the Noble Lady Baroness Heyman and Baroness Jones of Whitchurch. Um, we're in this problem again of we will have to wait for the regulations, we have to trust the government. Now, I appreciate that Noble Lord Minister was doing his best to persuade us, and I felt like he really wanted to have a PowerPoint presentation opportunity here to be able to show us the slide up on uh, of his, uh, the Noble Lord's uh, flowchart. Um, but this is all taking it on trust, and of course we're talking about, or I would say almost certainly, with the time, the time frame that the um, Noble Lord Minister was referring to not the same government to be implementing, um, uh, not making any aspersions of what might be the next government, but that's where the Noble Lord is not in a position to guarantee what will happen in the future. Um, and we're left with this uncertainty, um, which is just not being clear, and we know we are going to indeed test tomorrow your Lordship's house just how much your Lordship house is prepared to stand up against regulations, and we shall see what happens then. Um, some points that the Noble Lord, uh, the Minister, made in response to me in terms of the standards of particularly what I would call factory farming. Uh, the Noble Lord said there is already legislation. Um, I would say that, that legislation is clearly grossly inadequate, um, and we have huge disease problems because that legislation is inadequate. It's tightening up the animal welfare, the um, regulations for housing animals in this country would actually greatly reduce the need to deal with disease problems. Um, I think it's interesting that the Noble Lord the Minister also said, as I think he may have said a couple of times, um, this is including animals is about making the UK the best place to conduct research. And I come back to the point I made in an earlier group of, is this bill for animal welfare, for food security for farmers, or is it for our biotechnology industry? And it would appear that we are hearing it is for the biotechnology industry. Um, now, I'm not going to run through all of the contributions, because the noble ladies, Baroness uh, Parmenter and Heyman, I think, have already provided us with a really good um, summary. But I do just want to draw together responses from the Noble Lord, the Minister, and a number of other Noble Lords, including Noble Lord Lord Trees and the Noble Lord Cameron of Dillington. Um, and the suggestion is that um, tackling disease. But what we're talking about here is ecological niches. And if you produce, let's say, pigs that are entirely resistant to one particular disease, which you're going to produce resistance to one species, one threat. You're, not going to produce, you're very unlikely to produce widespread resistance. Then you're opening up an ecological niche for some other disease to come in if you're keeping animals in the conditions that allow that to happen. And I think we can take a practical example of what's happening in human society right at this moment. We have respiratory diseases. Uh, human societies over many centuries have had conditions that have allowed the spread of a wide range of respiratory diseases. Grateful to Noble Lady. Forgiving way. Would you not agree with 